welcome, 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 welcome to reality. I just want to call you and say welcome. See how you're doing. Today, I'm really excited. We're going to talk about something that I've seen a couple times on bloggers' websites and things like that. Something called a happy box. No, it's not Mary Kay products. I wish. This is something that is going around. It's a fun idea um, to fill a box with a bunch of cute, fun things or things specifically that a person likes. And I've seen it done in a really fun way, but in a really expensive way. And so today we're going to talk about how we can make a happy box in a very budget-friendly way. Let's get started. So first, to make a happy box, you need a box. <laughs> and so I'm using this Mary Kay box that I don't even know what came in it. Um, I've had it for a while, but I think their boxes are so pretty. They have this pale pink on the outside, and then they are this fun silver on the inside. So, um, ooh, it's kind of like a mirror. Hello. And so that is what I'm going to use for, for my happy box. They're pretty sturdy. And this happy box is for a friend who is getting married this weekend and is moving right after that. So she's moving far, far away. I wanted to make this happy box filled with things that we have in common or that she would like. They're either things that I made from scratch that are crafts or things that I got for free from specific places that have emotional meaning for me and this friend that I'm giving it to, but for me, it wasn't this huge cost. So that's kind of a fun way to, to meet in the middle. The first thing I want to put in my happy box is this um, pad of paper. Everybody needs a pad of paper around the house next to the phone or the door or uh, for grocery lists or things like that. And this is of a place in Colorado Springs called the Glen Erie. And it is a place that we both have spent a lot of time. And they give away these pads of paper for freezies. So it's the perfect perfect thing to put in our happy box. So that's going to go in there. The next thing is it's always fun to give someone a bunch of pens or writing utensils that are fun. But again, we don't want to go and buy them and they don't have any like significant meaning. So I've got this cute little bundle. I've tied it up with burlap or uh, twine or what do you, or you call this stuff? Um, and there's a pen also from this place called Glen Erie. There's a free pen from our church and then there's a free pen from where she went to college. So they're all things that have emotional meaning for her, but to me, they were free. Uh -uh. So we're gonna put that in our happy box. Next are some things that I created or that I crafted. So the first thing that we're gonna talk about is a picture frame. This is so fun and these picture frames at Michael's or Hobby Lobby, they go for like 99 cents or a dollar. So they have the little peg taped on the back and I just Mod Podged it. Now if you don't know what Mod Podge is, it's a mix between water and glue and it comes in these little canisters. They come in big ones, little ones, they come colored or they come clear glossy or clear matte. Matte is my favorite because it doesn't stay sticky. Sometimes the glossy ones stay sticky. And a just disposable paint, foam paintbrush like this. Those are my favorite materials to use for when I'm Mod Podging. And if you don't know how to Mod Podge, just leave a comment down below and let me know and we can do a whole video on how to incorporate Mod Podge into your crafting. So I took some scrapbook paper and um, and just Mod Podge this frame. And I'll put a picture of her, her new husband, and me and my husband in here so that she has that to put up somewhere when she moves into her new apartment. So that's the next thing in our happy box. Another thing, I'm real excited about these last two things, so I don't know which one to talk about first, but I'll talk about these first. So these are little notebooks. I've tied them up with twine, but I can undo them for your sake. So there's these little notebooks that are so cute. Oh, this one's upside down. <laughs> um, and I decorated them to have similar colors or similar themes. So their new last name will start with an S. So I have an S on each one of these. And these little notebooks are so handy. They're, you can stick them in your purse, in your glove box, in your car, in a diaper bag. Um, I've been tempted to just make these for myself. So it's just a handy way 
to have a notepad right next to where you're at. And these are just mini versions of composition books. So you, you've seen these before. Um, these run for maybe like a buck twenty nine at Office Depot or Walmart or wherever. But these are just mini versions of this. And these, a pack of three, I think is a dollar on the internet or at Target or wherever you choose to get them. Um, and so they're very reasonable and I was able to use Mod Podge and craft supplies that I already had. So those are gonna go into our happy box. And then our last thing that I made was also from ingredients. I didn't have to buy anything. I made her a coffee, a vanilla latte sugar scrub. So it is coffee based and coconut oil. Um, and it smells like vanilla coffee. And so she can use this and hopefully she'll think of me and she'll think of us in in Colorado because her husband used to work at a coffee shop. And I just cut out a square piece of fabric and put that in between the, um, what is this part called? The metal insert and the screw on cap. So that just makes it a little bit more fun and the colors kind of match the theme of everything else in our happy box. So I'll just put that in our happy box too today to discuss how to do a happy box for someone who is moving or it's their birthday or they're having just like an awful day but a way that you can do it so it doesn't totally break the bank um, I hope you have enjoyed this if you want to see more videos like this please leave a comment down below if you want to see this makeup look I just filmed another tutorial it is a dusty rose burgundy makeup look and I'm actually doing it for the friend's wedding who this happy box is for. So it's kind of fun to make a couple different videos to where I just got to think about her and her wedding and this new phase of life. Please remember to keep it real where you're at. And I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.